Hi, welcome to Mini Shop with myself, Elizabeth, where I'm doing a little texture and technique sculpting series. We're going to sculpt some fur or a beard or anything like that. Let's get to it. To begin, you'll need a work mat to protect your tabletop, some clay that you're using, and a potter's needle or a toothpick, as well as some ball ends or silicone dowels, depending on the size and the shape you want your fur to be. All right, I'm starting on some green clay because it's a little bit easier to see, but your clay is probably brown or some sort of color. Okay, begin by taking your bald end tool and just slightly pressing in and then pulling a smidge. If you want it to be kind of wavy fur, press in and pull a smidge, and then press in and pull a smidge, press in and pull a smidge. You'll notice it pulls the clay up. That kind of gives it a dimension. And you can choose to make your fur in whatever kind of pattern you want it to be in. Like so this technique can also be used for hair or beards, which they're the same thing, but it looks a lot like a big bushy beard. And you can do this with a smaller one if you're working on something smaller, like so. Or you can even do it with the silicone dowel end, like this. I just like to use the ball end because it gives it a smooth look. All right, then take your potter's needle or your toothpick and you are going to basically trace the outline of that little smooth area, like so. Tracing it and to make this, you're gonna want to pull it in a clean line. And if you get a little bit of clay, like on the edge of your toothpick or your potter's needle, just kind of wipe it off and put it on another piece of clay. That takes care of it pretty well. So depending on the size, keep drawing basically along the outline of these ridges. And just add as many lines as you think the space needs. Like so. This is the most tedious part of the dogs I sculpt, but it's really fun get in the kind of a zone and if it's a smaller piece you're working with of course it, you'll make less lines like these I'll just make little lines fewer lines all right that's the gist of it of course you can expand on this technique and make it your own if you have any questions let me know in the comments below or if you have any requests for my next videos thanks for watching have fun bye